What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am currently sitting on my living room floor because Dan and I actually just filmed a video together that's going to be probably going up next week all about our wedding. So we kind of answered all of your questions and everything like that. I'm really excited for that to go up. I just need to edit it. But I figured I'd put this video up first because it's um... Oh. Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay. I forgot what I was saying. Um, whatever. Basically, this was requested to do an updated favorites video, which I have not done in, I don't even remember the last time I've done a video like this because I've been using the same things for so long. I was like, why am I gonna make an updated favorites if there's nothing different about my routine? But there are a few things now that I have been kind of switching up and I've talked about a lot of my vlogs, but I realized that I forget to tell you guys because I have so many different viewers throughout my different channels. So if you guys are curious to get a more behind the scenes, in depth look of my life and like when I do, let's say, change up some products or travel or do whatever kind of thing. Um, I do have a vlogging channel as well as I do vlog almost daily with my fiance. So we have like a couple's vlogging channel. It is primarily like his channel. He definitely edits and does everything and does all the work for it, but I'm on that like on a daily. So I figured today I would show you some things that are different in my routine but still like basically things you've been asking about for a very long time. So I'm gonna start off with makeup because this is a question I get all the freaking time is my lip color. What is my lip color? And every video I post, every Insta picture I post, and it's always typically the same thing. I alternate between like two, but they're the same brand. So I use this lip liner, which is by Bite. Um, why is it all scratched off? But it's just a lip liner by Bite. I don't know, oh. It's 050, that's the um, number of it, but it's just like this color, and then I use it with the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in Malibu. These two things together are like my holy grail. I wear them all the time. They're kind of a nude, brownie, mauve -y combination, I guess, and I, even in person, so many people ask about my lip color, so that's what that is. I'll also leave links for everything I can find down below so you can find the exact items. Then another thing, and this was sent to me, so this is by YSL, and it is the, I can't even read it because it's sparkly, oh here, Touche Eclat Blur, oh, I said that in French, Touche Eclat Blur Primer, so this, <laughs> this stuff is literally incredible, I even wear it when I'm not wearing makeup, so if you guys can see, it's like this liquid, Mm. It's almost more like a gel consistency and it has little flakes of like gold sparkles and this stuff, I put it on my face before I'm gonna apply makeup. It makes your skin so smooth and just like fills your pores and it's like flawless, like just a blank canvas, perfect for putting makeup on top. I use this even when I'm not wearing makeup because it just makes your skin feel so smooth and just look like poreless, you know? The one thing I do have to say though is that it doesn't, like if you have, you know, acne or like some spots that are sticking out obviously it's not going to make that disappear but if you're having like a good skin day and you just have some like acne scarring or so i call them craters because like that's what i have on my face it just makes i'm wearing it today as you can see it's just like it makes your skin look so nice and a lot of you guys have been noticing that in my videos so thank you and it i really do think it is this to be completely honest it is on the pricier side obviously ysl it was sent to me but uh, they're not going to send it twice and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this like as soon as it's done and I've had this for maybe a month and look how much I've used like a lot. Is that all the makeup? I've, I think that's all the makeup because everything else is pretty much the same like I kind of just go through a cycle of the same products that I use over and over again that I've shown in like all my videos before. Um, skincare, the only thing would be this. Um, this is Giorgio Armani, Armani, Armani. <laughs> This is Giorgio, George, why can't I say it? You guys know what it is, Giorgio Armani. And it's C. This stuff smells amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm almost out of it. It was actually given to me when I flew from, where was it? We were flying from Qatar to Bali and we had all, we're all able to upgrade on our flight for like super cheap. So, cause it was like really empty plane. So we all upgraded and they gave us a little kit. You know, sometimes when you sit in like, I don't know if you've ever sat in like premium economy or business class or whatever, they'll give you like a little kit with an eye mask. Sometimes they'll give you a little like lip balm or ear, ear plugs or whatever, socks. They gave us Giorgio Armani cream, perfume, 
like really good products and this stuff smells amazing it's lasted me since then but it's like literally at the end 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 and I'm definitely gonna need to purchase another one because it smells so good like to anyone who has the scent, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just really, really nice. And mixed in with my perfume, I find it's like a really good combination. So talking about perfume, I have actually been wearing, I got this for Dan for Christmas, and it's just like a gift box of all different Jo Malone perfume, not perfume, they're like colognes. They're basically Jo Malone is unisex, so you can kind of switch it up. But I've loving, I've been loving to test out the different scents. My favorite from this one is the Pomegranate Noir. Um, and then also the Basil and Neroli is really good. Was it Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt? I don't know, all these scents are really nice. They're not as good as the scent that I wear on a daily, which is Wild Vegan Cassis, which is also discontinued. I'm so upset over it, but I like stocked up before they discontinued it, discontinued it. But I've been loving to try out the different scents from this, so. Sorry, Dan. I steal his scents, but they smell really good. And then another weird thing that I've been doing is wearing men's deodorant. I don't know. I like one time was out of my deodorant and I was kind of in need of it. And so I just asked Dan if I could use his, which some people might find gross, but like he's my fiance. I don't care. We literally share everything. So um, I used his and it smelled so good. And I smelled like a guy the whole day. And I was like, yes, this smells amazing. So then I got my own. And this is um, Old Spice Denal Denal Denali. How do you say that? With spruce. Basically, it smells like a pine tree, kind of. Mm, it just smells good. I like it. And um, I'm not sure if this stuff is good for you or not. I literally don't know anything about deodorant, so please feel free to inform me down below because that is something I want to look into. Um, but this is just what I've been loving lately because it smells really good and I don't sweat. Um, okay, on to hair because hair has been a question for so long about like what I've been doing. So update, yes, I dyed my hair. I dye it once a year and I recently just got it done. I usually do it right before Coachella. Product wise, the only difference is I switched up my heat protectant spray because I um, don't use heat in my hair that often, but when I do, obviously I want to spray. So this is by Gizu. This is Negan's um, heat protectant spray. You guys know I love her. <laughs> You like literally all know I'm like obsessed with her stock all her videos. This stuff is just it's so good It's so good her hair oil and this definitely recommend I know Tess and I always rave about it, but for real it's like it's worth it It's worth the money. I know I get so many questions. It is worth the money I bought two one for Capel for Christmas as well And she loves it and it just it's so sleek and pretty and it smells good. It's just like I love it. That is all for product wise. Now I'm gonna move on to some fashion favorites. So since it is currently spring, even though in Montreal it's kind of cold and not, like the weather's like so up and down, but I've been loving yellow. Yellow is my jam right now. I think it looks so pretty. I should have worn the shirt for the video, but this is from Brandy. It's just a simple yellow tee. I think it's so cute. And it's like not too bright. It's, you know, a basic yellow color, but I think it's so pretty at this time of year, especially in the summer when you have a nice tan. I just think it looks good. And a lot of people say yellow looks good on me. I don't know if it's because I'm blonde, but. And then I have been obsessing with florals lately, and this has come to be a new favorite top of mine. This is from Windsor, and it's still available online. It looks like this it's off the shoulder, it's cropped. It has these really pretty details in the sleeves, but I just love this floral pattern so much. I think florals obviously are perfect in spring, but I think it's a great transition into summer as well because you can get away with wearing florals all the time. Even this with a denim jacket is so cute, or a nice little hat for an accessory, some high-waisted jean shorts or high-waisted jeans, some booties or sandals. Like You can't really go wrong with a top like this. That's why I love it so much. And the sleeves are just like three-quarter length. Really pretty, they have um, an elastic at the bottom, so if you wanted to roll them up, you could do that as well. Or not roll them up, but you know, like slide them up like that. Another thing a lot of you guys have been asking, if you follow me on Instagram, you will recognize this jacket. So these types of jackets, they're like bombers. I see them all the time now, like windbreakers that are super sporty or like bomber type things with like cars and stuff. It's super in right now. This is actually mine from when I was 12. I'm not even kidding you. My grandfather got me this and a Ferrari one that's like bright red and they've been at my parents' house in like their basement closet for years and I've been seeing them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have that jacket. So I went home and I got this. Yes, it was um, gifted to me by my grandfather. It's a Mercedes one, 
and he I think got it at the F1 racing here in Montreal they have the Formula One racing thing where all you know they come in from all over the world they do the race car stuff and yeah this was gifted to me from my grandfather so I don't think you can buy this anywhere I will try to find it but um, this was from like so long ago, but it's definitely a favorite of mine And I really love that look of having like a jacket kind of hanging off your shoulders when you wear just like a tank top or something I think that just looks really nice And then the last clothing item is this sweater any kind of oversized um, cropped ish sweater is like what I'm all about right now So this one is from wild fox and I got it off revolve a while ago, but I know you could still buy it on the website um, It looks very distressed Super open back So you could you know, I know some girls wear it like in the front open and they'll have it like super off the shoulder Which is nice as well the cute bralette, but I this is like this I literally wear this all the time It's the softest sweater I own and then lastly our accessories So I guess I, I put these as, as accessories. I don't know if they are but they're the Adidas the triple white NMDs the first ones like the first version um, I know everyone's talking about the second version right now, but I personally like these ones a lot better They have like the little blocks on the side and it was actually Kat who introduced these to me And I found a pair on eBay for like pretty good price. So I just got them and they had my size and Yeah, they're super comfy. They're really really light material The only thing is I did stain them on the side when I went to France because we walked through caves and I kind of got a little dirty, but that's fine I'm like really not crazy when it comes to having super white shoes Like I know a lot of people are like that, but I really like could not care About it. They're just like pretty white shoes and they look really white anyway So it's not a big deal and then the last thing I've been loving are disposable cameras These are so fun Polaroids disposable. I got this from Urban Outfitters and it was very overpriced It's like $20 and you're paying for literally the cover which is marble Looking what I got it for a picture in mind, but honestly you can buy them at you know, you can even buy them on Amazon for like four bucks So I do not recommend buying one for twenty dollars. That's like such a waste of money. You get the same quality With something that's four dollars <sighs> Alex like good job, but I haven't actually developed these yet. I'm waiting I have one more picture left So I'm just gonna like take one of my sister or something then go get them developed And I think it's so fun to have like physical pictures like I remember that as a kid having physical pictures you look through a photo album you have like these memories that you can hold with your hand and No risk of them getting deleted or you know, it's just there's something about like for me, too I, I love reading books rather than listening to audiobooks I love having like the thing in my hand and touching it and it just feels a lot more real to me that way So that's why I've been really into those lately And I just think it's so much more fun for memories and you can have them you can kind of display them over your house or your room and I just think it's so great. So that is it for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see next. I have the one with Dan coming out all about our wedding. I have a few other things. I really want to do a video kind of like called Come Shopping With Me and I want to be able to show you guys what I do when I go shopping, how I pick out outfits, how I, you know, what I do when I'm in the dressing room and I well, obviously not when I'm changing. <laughs> But like when how I like put things together or when I'm online shopping like what I do what sites I love um, All that kind of stuff because I feel like that could be interesting So yeah, if you have any other suggestions feel free to leave them down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it And don't forget that I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video